Okay. This is um, part two of the, as you can see, Lifeline Shock Pump, as you can see here. Now, this is connected onto tapered 100mm recon forks, as you see at the bottom. Of course, these are the wrong forks because it's 110mm boost and I'm running 100mm with 15mm for axle wheels. So they sent me the wrong one. Don't know if I can see it from this part of the angle of the camera. As you can see from the fork, not that side. See here? They sent me the wrong one for my bike. So I'm gonna have to wait until I get some new ones. So just to show you, as you can see, it's on 80 PSI. But you turn this screw, okay? So you turn this screw here, watch now. 80, I'm gonna screw back in to engage. Just to give you an example, how much air does it lose if I do it fast? Back up, tighten back in. There's it on 80. See, see here, I'm turning the screw. You can see it's solar air forks. This one uses a pop lock. They're showing you, look, you can see for yourself. It's recon. You see the axle. You see it here. I'm just showing you. This is this is lifeline pump. You see? If I turn, you can see, let's turn my hands. See, it's come out. Now, if you turn back in, engages. So this gives you a rough idea, how much PSI would you lose? So let me just quickly um, try to pump this up. It's gonna be kind of hard holding the thing up. I don't know, let me see. It's gonna be kind of hard because I'm not using a tripod. So let me just try, let me just keep doing it this way. Hopefully this this will help you out. So it loses not that much though. Hold on. Let me just face this to my bike a minute. Let me quickly pump this up. Hold on. Let's get this up to 80 PSI. Bring it back now. So now you want 80 PSI. How much does it actually lose? Okay, now we're tightening it. Okay, so it loses a little bit. So at least I know if I'm on 80 PSI and I turn, turn this part here. So okay, let's give it a go. There goes the air. With the tire back up, engage. Okay, so it loses a little bit. So if I went 80, fuck on, I'm gonna point the face my, my Charles bike. Let's say around here. So if I went 80, let's say somewhere around here. Probably have to do this like twice. Tighten in. Okay, near it. I have to do this twice. Okay, tighten up again. There we go. We got 80. So I had it before. I was right. I had to go twice. So once you just put it a little bit. A little turn, let's say, okay, there you are. There is it right there on the 80, okay? Now let me turn. There goes the air. Engage again. Okay, now we're there. Turn again. Tighten up again. Yeah, so it's pretty good. It's a pretty good feature having this. This helps out a lot. Because once you turn this, it's no longer engaged. And also, look, you can see, look, it comes out. Look, see there, look. I'll show you down into the hole. There you go. There's a valve straight down there. Straight down there is what we're, in, we're engaging with, with this. So I'll put that in. Nice and gently. Don't want to lose any form of thread. So we go here. Gauge, there we go. Are we ready? 
comes off like that. And what you do when you were to take it off, you turn the silver part, and it comes off. You want to tighten, you turn the silver part, goes back in, and you're good to go. So that's the lifeline pump. This is part two of it, and this is how it actually works. Hopefully you like it. If you do, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you want to put no likes or no dislikes, no need to worry. The main thing is, hopefully I answered your question. And that's the Lifeline Shock Pump into Recons. This is the 100 mil. This is the pop lock version. Solar Air. This is the Motion RL Silvers. This is the one that sent me that, that was wrong. So, yeah, pretty good.